In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to sync multiple camera angles together using Adobe Premiere Pro. Welcome back to the channel. My name is CJAM and here we are inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that the footage that I'm going to be syncing today, the video tracks and the audio track are yours to download for free and work along with me. All you have to do is hit the first link in this video's description. And if you want to download Adobe Premiere Pro free for seven days, that way you can edit with me. Go ahead and hit the second link in this video's description. So what we're gonna be doing first is importing our clips into Premiere Pro. So we're gonna to go to file and go down to import and then we're gonna locate our files on our computer, right? So I have my two camera angles here and my audio clip. I'm just gonna select all of them and just go ahead and click open. Now that I've brought my clips into Premiere Pro, the next thing I want to do is create a sequence. This is where you're gonna sync all the clips to your audio. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click in my project window right here. I'm just gonna right click and click new item and then sequence or you could have clicked this new item button right here and then gone to sequence and let's name it LSEV Premiere Pro Sync Tutorial, right? That's cool for us. Um, and then I already have it set to Premiere Pro's um, 1080p 30 frames per second default because of that's how I recorded my clips. 1080p at 30 frames per second. I usually keep um, my sequence settings to match the way I recorded the footage, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. Now that I've created my new sequence, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Ctrl and S to save my project. And then I'm going to just drag in my clips one by one, right? So I'm just gonna drag my first clip onto my timeline, right? Next, I'm going to go ahead and select my second clip. I'm just gonna drag it in. I can do, do it like so, or I can hover it over the program window and select where I want to drop it. And I just want to overlay it, meaning I just want it on top of the one that I just dragged in the first angle, right? There it is. And let me just go ahead and right click on the second one and just go to label and change the color. I'm choosing forest. That way you guys can clearly see the distinction between the two clips here, right? And then let me go ahead and select my audio track. And then let me drag it underneath the bottom of my video clips like so. And then let me change the color of that as well by right clicking going to label and then choosing yellow, right? Now I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Ctrl and S to save all that I just did. And here is where the magic happens. Remember, audio is king and we are just gonna select all of them, right? Right click on it, this is where the magic happens and then hit synchronize, right? And you'll get this little dialog box right here and I usually set the track channel to, you can do channel one or channel two, but I normally just select mix down, right? Just gonna go ahead and click OK. And there it is, Premiere Pro synced everything for us, right? Now if I were to zoom in on the timeline and play this, if I were to mute the camera audio from both camera angles, this is how you know that your audio and your videos are synced. Let me just go ahead and hit this M right here to mute both camera tracks, right? Press play. This is my camera B and I have my up. No, I'm just gonna go ahead and go back and switch to the second camera angle and look at that. Let's press play. This is my camera B and I have my They're both in sync, perfectly in sync. And what you can do next is you can cut up the clips to, to make like the, where I said this is my camera B and I pointed to the side, you can cut that with your razor tool however you see fit. Here you have it. That's how you sync multiple clips to an audio file in Premiere Pro. Have you ever synced multiple clips before? Before no. Did you know that you could do this in Premiere Pro? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is CJAM and I will see you guys in the next video.